Welcome to ZTT Teacher Tube. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over how to take one of my layouts, which are for purchase on Teachers Pay Teachers, how to edit it, and how to insert it into your Schoology page to use. So here we go. Hi all, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing some changes in how we can post banners and buttons to Schoology. If this is your first time using banners and buttons on Schoology, this is the way that you wanna do it. If you used banners and buttons in the 2020 to 2021 school year, you may have posted this a different way. So this is a great video to give you a little refresh before you jump onto Schoology. Uh, whenever you purchase a layout from me, you'll always get a document like this with some important reminders, and many of these reminders are the same as last year. So something that we commonly forget is this first one in yellow. Anything that we want to post on Schoology, always remember to check your uh, share settings. When you click that blue button and you get to the share options, you always want to make sure it's set to anyone on the internet can view this link. Otherwise, students and parents will not be able to see the images that we are trying to put into Schoology. So always keep that one in mind. Uh, second little reminder is your Schoology layout should always be in a landscape view. If you're not sure how to do that, we can go to file, page setup, and you'll see that you have the option to switch from portrait to landscape. And that's going to keep our format the size and shape that we want it to post in our course room. Um, in any layout you purchase from me, you'll have one pre-made layout first here. And then if you scroll down, you'll see some directions about posting in Schoology and also alternative banners, different types of buttons, different types of text and icons. And you can use these to personalize the banner and make it look how you want. Your layout is here in an invisible chart. So if you highlight it, you'll see those white lines. This keeps the layout all nice and organized for us. So for example, if you don't want this to say welcome, maybe you want your name on it, you can double click that image. It's going to open up a Google drawing and you can customize this as you see fit. Maybe you don't want this welcome. You can grab a different text box. You can add your name. If you like the fonts that you see here, these are fonts that I have purchased from uh, two different Teachers Pay Teachers sellers and those sellers were linked in the direction. So if you would like those same fonts, you know how to get them. Uh, so you can do all your customization here. I'm just gonna undo this for our tutorial. Always hit save and close. This goes for everything in your format. So if you want to double click this button and change the text, or maybe you want to change the button color, copy the one you want, double click, paste it in, change the text, always hit save and close. Remember, always check that share button. We want this to be set to anyone on the internet can view. In order to post your layout into Schoology, you must copy and paste your edited table into a new Google document and make sure your share setting is set to anyone on the internet can view. Double check this before you continue. Now we're going to make this into something Schoology can understand. So we're going to click the file button and select publish to the web. We want it to be a link and we'll hit publish. Copy this link and paste it into a new tab. Your layout will appear as a website graphic. Copy this in prep to paste it into Schoology. In a new tab, open your course room and make sure you're on updates. In the blank text box area, paste our web page images. You'll see all of your buttons and graphics. To link each button, select the button and use the insert content option to create a link. Type in the URL and hit insert. The button will now be clickable. When you've linked each button, click the gray announcement button next to post and make sure the bell is checked off. Then click post. This is what will pin your buttons and banner to the top of your course room. Everything should be linked and in the order you want. Best of luck. Thank you.